Hi, I'm Tony Maserati, and I like using the studio rack because, one, I think about things in chains, and the studio rack is something that I can drag around from channel to channel with a variety of plugins already loaded in it. Now, in this case, I, I've got uh, an SSL E-channel, uh, Kramer Tape, uh, Kramer Pi, and an SSL EQ. As you can see here, I've left gaps so I can put other things in between those plugins, which I often do. I tend to leave gaps uh, whenever I'm instantiating plugins because I know that I'm always going to want to change a little something or do a little something differently or, uh, you know, make it work different in some way. But I really like using the studio rack quite a lot. One of the important things to remember about using the studio rack is that it's one instantiation. So I get to use eight plugins with one Pro Tools instantiation. It's a really innovative way of working. Now I can go ahead and save this file and this plugin template to wherever I want. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and save it with this song so that I can bring it back. And now that's, uh, that's included here. So whenever I open up Studio Rack, if we want to put Studio Rack on the, on the base for the, I think this is the base for another section. Let's see if we can get that back easily. Should work here. Come on. There we go. And so now we have that everywhere. Of course, I could have just dragged it uh, somewhere as well. Uh, and, it, and if you noticed, I was able to load that preset from a mono file to a stereo, uh, a mono audio track to a stereo audio track. That to me is, is really important. It didn't, it didn't create uh, a multi-mono plugin. Uh, for each of these, even though they were primarily uh, mono, they were mono plugins in this instantiation. Um, that to me is exceedingly important um, because it, it just lends uh, uh, efficiency. But anyway, uh, I just love the way this studio rack is working and I'm going to plan on using it quite a bit more in the future.